Okay, this is a short presentation on the Greek temple, and it'll help us with our temple building activity on Greek day. This is a poster located outside my room. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's only been up there for three weeks. Um, and I thought I'd take a picture of it so you would see it and be useful. Um, it has 3D representations of the Parthenon. And here's one over here with the roof being blown off by a tornado. So we can see inside of it. And we see two rooms here. We're going to learn about these two rooms. And this is basically the same representation. And over here is a cool picture where you kind of get a Superman um, X-ray vision of the Parthenon. We can see right through the roof. You will be building a temple like this on Greek day. And that's what we're doing today. We're planning our temple. So, what does the Parthenon remind you of? Or, really, it should be. What building in the United States reminds you of the Parthenon since the Parthenon came first? So, just shout it out, people. Name a building. Yell it out. What building? What building? Let's see. Oh, who said the Lincoln Memorial? The Lincoln Memorial obviously has a lot of Greek influence in it and reminds you of the Parthenon. Um, we're going to be talking about some of these features that you see here in the Lincoln Memorial that you also see on a Greek temple. By the way, I will be at this building in about a month's time. I'm traveling with the 8th graders on their trip to Washington, D.C. So don't miss me too much. This is a Supreme Court building in Washington, D.C. Again, a lot of Greek influence with a lot of temple features, which we'll be talking about. This one reminds me of a temple even more because of this triangular area up here, which we didn't see on the Lincoln Memorial. I'm going to talk about this feature, and you can see the statues inside of it are carvings. And lastly, this is a little local flavor. If you're ever in downtown Boston, you may see this building. It's located right downtown. It's called the Custom House, or the Old Custom House. And... Uh, still stands today only you wouldn't see any blue sky around it now it's all skyscrapers this is an old old picture it's about as old as mr henneberry okay our objective today is to create a blueprint of a greek temple and here's a blueprint it's of the jefferson memorial and down here your typical features of a greek temple this is what we'll be doing we're planning or we're making a blueprint for our temple on Greek day. Now Greek temples were among the most beautiful temples ever built. They were simple beautiful buildings made of marble and stone. The temples were places of worship and gathering places for the people. Each temple was built for a Greek god or goddess. The Greeks usually built their temples on an Acropolis or high city. And here's Athens and let me see how dexterous I can be with a magic pen. Better be careful here. I think I'm going to do it. Who said I couldn't do it? There you go. Highlighted. The Parthenon. The temple to the Greek goddess Athena. And of course, this was this area of high ground in the center of the city was called the Acropolis. The Parthenon is a building, a temple, built on the Acropolis. Temples were filled with beautiful stone carvings and paintings. Stone sculptures filled the pediment of the triangular shaped area at the top of each end of the temple. And this would be the pediment. We can see one, the other one obviously would be down here. Uh, Greek temples usually were painted. They weren't just whitewashed like we might see them today, but they usually did have some color and were painted. Here's a better example, a closer view of a pediment. And this happens to be a replica of the Parthenon's pediment. And this replica Parthenon stands in Nashville, Tennessee. The pediment, the triangular area with all this statuary inside of it. Tall pillars or columns surrounded the outside of the temple and helped support the roof. And this is three, this is the column here, okay? And that's obvious, three columns, right? But this part is, is different. The part on top is different. And this part, and let's see if I can do this again. Oh, yeah. It is called the capital. Okay, kind of like capital letters. This is the top of the column, a capital. And we can see that there are three different types. A Doric, which was very plain. 
Ionic, which was kind of a little fancier. It's kind of got this like scroll thing going for it right here. And then the Corinthians, which was very elaborate. Nice going, Corinthians. Very nicely done. So, columns, capitals right here, capitals. And down here is just a little more detail, which we don't need to go into right now. Typical temples was a one-story rectangular building with two rooms. A large center room called a cella usually contained a statue of a Greek god or goddess. All right, the cella. There was a smaller room called a treasury, which contained gold and valuables that were offered to the gods. Your particular mm, temple in Greek there will just need one room, a cella, where you will place your Greek god. Okay. Here's a cutout version of the Parthenon, and we can see good old Athena sitting in there or standing inside. And it has these different parts of the temple labeled. And we're going to get a closer look at this. This is a better picture. And here it is right here. These, these particular things uh, are, are um, features you're going to need on your temple. You're going to need a pediment this triangular shaped area. You're going to need a frieze, which is this area right here. And usually within this these little areas there were pictures of more sculptures in here. This doesn't have anything, but usually there were sculptures in here. You're going to need a cornice, which is this this kind of grooved part of that ran across here. The capital right here. And it can be any capital you want. It can be a Doric, Ionic, or Corinthian. A column. And the stylobite, which is basically just the floor. But these six features you will have to have on your temple, among other features, which we will talk about in a second. This ends my fabulous presentation on the Greek temple.